Good evening. I'm Kimberly Roosley. Thank you for joining us tonight. Aaron has the night off. The Jefferson County judge and commissioners say no deal on the sale of Ford Park. As we've been reporting, the Renaissance Development Group offered to purchase Ford Park for $22 million to build a horse racing track and even a hotel. But after missing several deadlines to pay up, the county announced today there would be no sale. Ford Park has been a burden on county taxpayers since its construction nearly 20 years ago, a burden the sale would have lifted. KFDM's Angel San Juan is in studio to tell us what happens next. Kimberly, it's back to the drawing board for Jefferson County leaders. The problem, though, there does not seem to be a drawing board for Ford Park. When commissioners went to seek buyers, there was only one interested party in buying the venue, and that was the Renaissance Development Group. There's not a for sale sign outside Ford Park. That's because the entertainment venue was supposed to be sold a year ago. That's when Jefferson County commissioners voted to sell the complex to the Renaissance Development Group. The group claimed it had plans to build a horse racing track here, but that horse never left the gate. After a year of missed deadlines to pay the $22 million, the Renaissance Group received an ultimatum from Jefferson County Commissioners. Commissioners told the private investors to pay $560,000 in additional earnest money by March 4th, that was last Friday, and to pay the entire $22 million price tag by March 18th. If the group failed either one of those deadlines, the deal would die. They didn't make the March 4th deadline, so my opinion, it's over. Commissioner Daryl Bush initiated the motion that led to the final ultimatum. Hopefully someone else out there will want it and we can, we can get a deal done. But right now, there's no one else. So Ford Park, which has been the source of controversy for two decades, will remain an expensive burden on Jefferson County taxpayers, costing them nearly $7 million a year. This is disappointing to, to everyone involved, including the, the prospective purchasers. Uh, it, it just didn't work out. It's disappointing. And right now, the, I don't know a solution to the problem. Right now, there's no plan B, though, that you're aware of? Not the best of my knowledge, no. But it seems the Renaissance Group is not ready to throw in the towel. The group's lead representative, Kevin Johnson, issued this statement saying, until the provisions of the contract are fulfilled, we will continue to move forward. As updates become available, we will keep you advised to the best of our ability. We should point out that because the sale was always, always remained in limbo, the county budgeted Ford Park into this year's budget, so it's never stopped getting funding from taxpayers. Kimberly? 